welcome back to my channel. So you'll notice that I'm not in the garden today, that's because I'm wanting to do something a little bit different. I love gardening, it's one of my biggest passions, but I also really like to home make things from scratch. Whether that's cooking, or making cleaning supplies, or beauty products, or things for around the house. I've always made a lot myself, that's because then I know exactly what my family's eating and putting on their skin, and it saves us a lot of money. Recently, to add to that, I've become more and more aware of how much plastic waste we use, and I'm really keen to try and reduce that as much as possible. So I'm gonna be adding that to this channel now, showing what I do with my family to reduce our waste and use what we've got. So I'm gonna kick things off by showing you guys how we make our super green smoothie powder. So I used to buy this in the four sachets at the supermarket and it was great because one teaspoon contained a really concentrated amount of greens. So you could add just one teaspoon to your smoothie without changing the taste too much and you'd know that you were getting like the equivalent of a cup full of greens. But not only is buying those sachets super expensive, they also come in plastic waste. So if we can reduce that and avoid that, all the better. So today I'm going to show you what I put in this super green smoothie powder and you might be pleasantly surprised that I'm not using the best kale or purchasing the most prime ingredients. In fact, I'm using ingredients that would probably be wasted in the garden had I not put it in here. So this is a mature cauliflower leaf, so it's quite big and it wouldn't be very good to eat if you were going to saute it because it would be very tough and very stringy. Plus there's a bit of leaf minor damage on it, it's not the most appealing uh, leaf to serve up on a plate but it's packed full of nutrients so if we can use it and avoid it from just being wasted why wouldn't we so yesterday I went out and picked a whole bunch of cauliflower leaves and broccoli leaves and some silver beet that was getting a little bit iffy looking and I dehydrated it and so there were this filled actually six trays of green vegetables but naturally when they get dehydrated they will shrink and lose their moisture so what I'm going to do with this is blitz it up If you want a really fine powder, you'll need a really good blender. I have a pretty basic blender, so my end result is quite chunky. This is just straight greens, but you can add any other flavours to tailor your, your needs. You could dehydrate some lemon peel, some, just any citrus peel, some berries, some strawberries, some raspberries. You could do some herbs, some mint. And then just store it in a airtight container, like a jar, in a cool dark place, and it will last for months. smoothie mix and if you use vegetables like I did today and not go out and buy kale or spinach then you can actually do it for free. Mm -hmm. 